early morning, everybody. For the next month and a half, I am living in San Francisco. But before I explain why that is, I have to fulfill my duties to uh, a certain cult-like bike company. Buy Wabi, you won't regret it. It's nicer than my carbon roadie. Buy Wabi, buy Wabi, buy Wabi, buy Wabi. Last I checked, that's me. Eek, a spider. I wonder if it's from here or Oklahoma. Moment of truth. Yes. Holy crap, look at this wheel. How many spokes? One, two, three, nine, ten, twenty spoke front room. Oh my god, boy. <laughs> It's so light. This worries me, but we'll see. <laughs> I got the dual cog. <laughs> the dual cog? Yeah. Instead of flipping your wheel, you just move your chain. What is this, witchcraft? <laughs> yeah, right? You gotta get that sticker. What sticker? This sticker. Columbus Spirit. It's like the nicest Columbus steel. I can't get that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's fine. You got the, you, you got the, you get the gist. Yeah, you got the. Hopefully, someone doesn't steal it. Uh, 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 uh. Also, would you like to introduce yourself to the vlog so you're not just some mysterious person behind the camera? Who is this mysterious sounding voice that also sounds like Zach? Oh, it's me. Wow, I'm Albert Zach's brother, by the way. Right. <laughs> a pretty dang nice bike. Now, I feel like most of my vlogs has just kind of devolved in, into just me building up review bikes. Now, I want to know, do you think that watching me build up a review bike is interesting? Because I personally think it's kind of boring, but let me know in the comments. I could keep doing this. I could stop doing this. So this is Wabi's top of the line bike, the Lightning SE. And I believe it's around $1,200 if you just get the stock version. And it is also Wabi's lightest bike, as if they weren't light enough already. Now this isn't the stock version. This has a couple of upgrades. This has the orange and black Oklahoma State Pro logo bar tape. It's very, cushiony, it's very grippy, it's very similar to gator skins. And also we have the Grand Bois Extra Leger tires in 26C. Very supple tires, supposedly. I run Grand Bois on my, uh, on my Nature Boy and I quite like them. They're very durable and quick and supple and they just make riding a pleasure. And we also have the upgraded wheel set. This is Wobby's sub 15 wheel set as in sub 1500 grams. Usually if you were to get a fixed wheel set with 32, 32 hole it would be about 2100 grams or so. This is sub 1500 grams and these are very light wheel set. The front is only a 20 spoke but the rear is a uh, 32 spoke, I believe, or is it 24? 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, rear is 24 spoke, so that's part of the way that they get it to be so light. And another upgrade that I've got on here is the Wabi dual cog. So you can see that there are two cogs, there's a huge lock ring on here, and uh, that's presumably that's because there's two cogs. And I'm really interested in testing this out, see how the chain line is, see if it uh, makes any makes a big difference and see whether this is worth a purchase over a separate cog and flipping a wheel. So with that, I'm going to weigh this thing, put some pedals on it, do some last minute adjustments, and let's go for a ride. 159.2, 176.0. Without pedals, this thing is 16.8 pounds. I was kind of expecting it that it might be lighter than that. But uh, there is a front brake on here, there is that heavy dual cog, and also it's steel, and it's 16.8 pounds. It'll be about 17.8 pounds once you put the pedals on. This thing is made out of Columbus Spirit tubing, which is 
probably one of the thinnest wall tubing that you can get for steel and also has a carbon fork with aluminum steerer. Now all this weight is pretty meaningless if it doesn't ride nicely and also the one of the best benefits of saving weight is climbing. So let's test both of these things right now and here are my first impressions of the bike. <laughs> San Francisco now, at least for the next month and a half. I was originally living in Sacramento, back home with my parents after I graduated from college, but I, ha I had to get out. I lasted a month, and I just had to get out. So I moved in with my brother. Why? Home is too comfortable, and this is gonna sound stupid and all that cheesy nonsense that I normally go into, but I, w I felt like I wasn't growing as a person at home. I wasn't doing nearly as much YouTube as I wanted, and that's because home is just too comfortable. That's where I grew up, nothing is new, nothing is challenging, so I had to get out of the house and go somewhere else, hence San Francisco. Now, I'm only in the city until the end of August, because on August 28th, I will be moving again, but this time it will be much farther away and to a much more different place than I've ever lived. But for now, I've got a review to do. I've got a couple of reviews to do, and including this bike right here. Here are my first impressions of the Wabi Lightning SE. This is Wabi's top of the line bike. It's made of Columbus Spirit tubing, which is some of the thinnest wall tubing that you can get, and it's still steel. It's a steel bike that with pedals weighs 17 0.6 pounds and that's very impressive. Unfortunately because I am a dope I wasn't really able to ride this thing to the fullest extent. I thought that the tires were 26 C because that's what Matt told me he would give me because he knows I like my wide tires if you know what I mean. What I mean is that I like wide tires. It turns out that I don't have eyeballs and these are indeed 23 C tires. So I was riding under inflated but even then the bike still rides pretty incredibly. First impressions it's beautiful. I would prefer a steel fork just for that peace of mind and for safety just because fixed riders for some reason inherently distrust carbon, but it still rides very nicely. I wasn't really able to tell that it was a carbon fork. It rides like a wobby. I've ridden the Classic, the Special, and now the Lightning, which is all the bikes that Wobby has to offer, and if I'm being honest, they all feel somewhat the same to me as far as ride qualities of the frame goes. They all have very similar geometry if not the same geometry. The only difference is that the Wobby Lightning that I have right here has room for up to 26C tires, maybe 28s if you squeeze it in, whereas the Special and the Classic can fit up to 32C tires comfortably. It's a Wobby, it's a very light bike, it likes to go fast, and it's steel and it rides incredibly smoothly. Even though I was on these 23C tires, whether it be placebo effect or whether it be my actual perceptions, I thought the tires were actually very supple. These are the Grand Bois Extra Leger 23C tires and I thought they rode really well. And in my mind, probably because of the placebo effect, I did think Think that I was riding on 26C tires when that was just not the case. I was riding underinflated. I did feel it. I was kind of wondering while I was going uphill, why does it feel so sluggish? Part of the reason why I felt so sluggish uphill is because I am on a 46-16 ratio in San Francisco. Now, I was struggling to get up hills on my Nature Boy on a 48-19 ratio, which is with the 38C tires more like 48-18 and even then it still was a struggle for me. But this is a much bigger ratio and because it is a much lighter bike, it climbs much more smoothly. So far, my first impressions is that I don't really see anything in particular, but again, I was a doof and I only inflated up to uh, 
90 PSI in the back and something else in the front, which would be for a 26C tire, not the 23Cs that I've been riding on. So I'm going to get my 200 miles in on this bike. I'm going to use it as my daily driver here in San Francisco. Hopefully it doesn't get dented because the tubing is so thin. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Riding here makes me feel like a wimp and uh, hopefully this Wobby Lightning will help me get home and stop sweating. This is really gross. Thank you.